Hey guys, what up? It's Juju6 or Sarah here back with another album review and today I will be reviewing The Plot and You's second studio album, Could You Watch Your Children Burn. This is released off of Rise Records and the actual release date will be January 15th. Um, if you do not know The Plot and You, they're like a hardcore metal kind of band and um, the old screamer of Before Their Eyes, Landon Tours, is now the screamer, clean vocalist of this band, and basically this is the band he started out doing. Um, and this ha uh, release has a total of 10 tracks, and the track listing is Premiadated, Fiction Religion, Digging Your Grave, Population Control, Troll, The Devil's Contract, Cheyenne Wheat, Sober and Soulless, Bible Butcher, and Glad You're Gone. Um, now, listening to this album, I haven't really listened to this band in a while. I listened to the first ever single they came out with, which I believe was Wife Beater, and I haven't heard anything else by them. So, I listened to this record, you know, with an open mind, and I kind of was thinking that it would be like generic hardcore, but at the same time, I thought I would get something out of it. So, I gave this um, album a listen from start to finish. And right off the bat with the intro track Cremated, I definitely could tell that this band was going for a really angry, heavy, heavy vibe. Um, and I knew that the majority of songs off this album were probably going to be angry, dark, pissed off lyrics to be blunt. Um, definitely gave me that vibe, but overall what I thought of the album was that the screams were awesome. Um, you know, I'm really picky about screamers, actually, and they really have to stand out to me for me to really, really like them. And Landon's screams on this um, album were excellent. Um, he had such a different, cool range of screams that he used, whether it was highs, lows, mids, and he would do it in such a fashion where he would transition very nicely into the clean vocals, which I also thought were phenomenal because most hardcore bands usually use like auto-tuned vocals, very high kind of whiny vocals. His vocals to me sounded extremely natural. They had a, had an edginess to them and they were very unique and I really truly loved them. Um, instrumentally the band together just sounded really in sync. They sounded like they knew exactly how to make like a really heavy album. And overall, I thought it was great. Um, each band member definitely played a great part. What I noticed about this record as well was that um, it had a lot of bass in it that you could definitely hear. And most hardcore and metal music, you usually can't hear the bass or it just doesn't stick out as much. But in this album, there was quite a few tracks actually that stuck out to me with bass. Um, one being Fiction Religion, another one being Population Control, as well as The Devil's Contract, Cheyenne Weeps, and yeah, those ones those ones really stuck out to me with the bass, and I thought it was really cool. I was like, whoa, a band's doing this and having the bass stick out, and it made it sound really awesome and flow with um, the songs just really nicely, and the bass like played went really well playing with the drums as well as the guitar, and I thought the guitar riffs on this album were really unique and cool. Um, definitely, um, and I loved the emotion that you could feel throughout this whole entire CD, whether it was hurt, hate, anger, um, sat, sorrow, you could definitely could feel the entire emotion the album was, like, showing, and I thought it was a really, really great release, and it really made me feel like, wow, something a little different in, like, the hardcore kind of metal scene. And, um, you know, this record really wasn't overproduced. Rise Records made it, like, just right, it seems like. Like, the perfect amount of production in this album was great. And I felt like if they overproduced it, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. Like, if they overproduced the screams or the clean vocals, I probably wouldn't have liked it that much. But overall, I just thought this album was phenomenal. Um, it wasn't, like, my favorite thing, but it definitely was truly, really well done. My favorite songs of the song are probably Fiction and Religion, Re Fiction Religion, because I love the feel that the song gives you, you I love the feel of the emotion, I love the screams in this song, and I thought the clean vocals were awesome as well as the bass. 
Another one of my favorites was Population Control, which consisted of fast, clean vocals, which I thought were really cool. Um, I loved that the guitar riffs were really unique and stuck out to me, as well as the bass, like I said. And I really liked how much emotion the screams had in that song. Um, another one of my favorites was The Devil's Contract, which is probably the heaviest song in the whole album. It had no clean vocals, all screams, super heavy, super angry. I loved it. I loved the creepy, eerie vibe you could get from the screams. And definitely was awesome. Um, my next favorite was Sober and Soulless, which definitely was the high point, like the highlight of the clean vocals. I thought the clean vocals were at its best. Um, on that song, and I thought the lyrics were a little bit more like optimistic, a little bit more positive than most of the tracks on this album, so it was, it was definitely really good. I really loved the drum fills and the drum patterns on that song as well. And my last favorite is Glad You're Gone, which consisted of all clean vocals and was probably the softest song on the album. Um, but overall, great CD. If you're looking for something like hardcore to listen to that's a little bit unique, I definitely recommend checking this album out. It's actually available on Rise Records' YouTube page to listen to the full album, so listen to it if you'd like. Songs I'd recommend for people that are new to the band are the most likable songs if you're into hardcore music or what have you is probably um, premiated just because it's like introducing for basically the whole album and it's definitely really good plus it was released in some of their singles um and definitely another song is troll i think this is going to be the band's next big song once they release the album it was the most likable because it had a good even amount of clean vocals and screams in it so check out those two songs if you haven't and um, just check out the album because it's overall a pretty good hardcore album. And I'll see you guys later for another album review. Goodbye.